Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. EAA Senior Flight Proficiency Lead resigns. Upset Recovery Flight Specialist to expand training options. And FAA announces ATC internship openings. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. EAA Senior Flight Proficiency Lead resigns. Radek Wierzykowski, now former Senior Program Manager over the EAA's Flight Proficiency Program, sent us his letter of resignation after the rumor mill began the usual gossip, assumptions, and tall tales. His work as Chief Flight Instructor presaged his upward trajectory as founder of the IMC Club International until its acquisition by the EAA. His transition into a management role there saw an expansion of the club to VMC pilots as well. Wurzakowski's statement is all we currently have to go on, and Wurzakowski maintains that the resignation given to management included a four-week notice, and his immediate departure was not his choice. Instead, the EAA reportedly decided to essentially terminate him on the spot instead of seeing through the rest of his term. Such developments are not too rare in the modern job market, as many can attest. Quote, recent organizational decisions, contrary to the initial understanding and previous agreements, prevent me from serving the IMC and VMC club's current and prospective participants the way it was envisioned when I did create the program in 2010 and later on joined the EAA. Due to irreconcilable differences in opinion about management style and organizational direction, I cannot, with a clear conscience, continue with my employment and be a part of this direction, end quote. Coming up after the break... Skyborne announces placement of grads to Wizz Air UK. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Skyborne announces placement of grads to Wizz Air UK. Skyborne Airline Academy has announced the success of a handful of graduates who have successfully made their way to Wizz Air UK with their UK CAA integrated ATPLs. Skyborne released the list of successful graduates, Adam Prince, Christopher Coles, Matt Langridge, Thomas Pearson, and James Mosscrop. In addition, they placed modular ATPL alumnus Henry Wallace with the company. The former students will fly the Airbus A320 and A321 family aircraft across Wizz Air UK's growing network. Houghton College adopts drone training course. Houghton College has joined hands with Aqualine Drones to offer its UAV pilot courses in its course curriculum. For now, the deal is set to last five years, offering online instructor-guided drone pilot training to future and current students. Aqualine courses will prepare students to take and pass the licensed drone pilot FAA exam. The company takes a slightly different tack to drone education, including AI-assisted training sessions and adding an individual flight training component with hands-on flight experience. Navy delivers first T-45 equipped with ADS-B out. The T-45 team at Naval Air Systems Command delivered the first automatic dependent surveillance broadcast out compliant training aircraft in January to Training Squadron VT-86 in Pensacola, Florida to meet FAA requirements. The T-45A aircraft, the Navy version of the British Aerospace Hawk aircraft, is used for intermediate and advanced portions of the Navy and Marine Corps pilot training program for jet carrier aviation and tactical strike missions. NGPA Winter Expo returned for 2022. 
The National Gay Pilots Association celebrates its rousing success from the 2022 Winter Warm-Up and Industry Expo, back after a two-year pause amid coronavirus restrictions around the country. The event demonstrated the aviation industry, from general aviation to commercial passenger travel, and its widespread support for diversity, equity, and inclusion as an operating principle. The event saw record participation from official entities, bringing in a record 72 corporate exhibitions, with many holding job interviews with prospective employees. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Upset recovery flight specialist to expand training options. Loss of control in flight is still the reigning king of safety issues to tackle. Worse yet, the forced pandemic-inspired grounding experienced by pilots around the world is expected to have a deleterious effect on pilot skill throughout the industry. Aviation Performance Solutions has publicized its 2022 goal of taking on the safety issue, leveraging their experience in upset prevention and recovery training to, quote, crush the loss of control in flight threat globally, end quote. Their new five-year mission comes on the heels of their 2018 to 2021 efforts to deliver their upset training to 50,000 pilots annually at the end of their goal period. Under the project, the business will look to expand its footprint of training around the world, bringing its education to those further out from its home base. The company stands poised in perfect position to offer its services to the aviation community being based at the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport in the flight training holy land of Arizona. APS has a range of aerobatic aircraft with an extra 300L, Slingsby Firefly, Marchetti 6211 Jet, and a Grob 120TP turboprop, all perfect for real flight time. After these messages, FAA announces ATC internship openings. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. FAA announces ATC internship openings. The FAA has opened a series of student internships throughout the network of air traffic facilities across the nation, where selected interns will join teams working on ATC missions and learning opportunities. The positions, in a break from the norm for interns, are paid with a salary range from $25,736 to $38,603, with variations in pay for the internship based on the duty station of the employee. For the luckiest among them, the internships are eligible to be converted to permanent positions at the end of the term. Intern duties run the gamut of general office tasks and day-to-day -day tasks, including data entry, budget verification, management of automated tools, maintaining filing systems, and compiling requested reports for projects. The internship may not exceed 120 days after graduation. The internships are available to students enrolled in accredited educational institutions at any level, from high school to graduate level, as well as pathways and other student programs. Interested parties should follow through with the application process on USA Jobs, but all entries are required to be completed by February 18th and transcripts must be submitted. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!